What is up, you frail fraligators? Today, we're going to be playing some games with this Solgaleo deck that I've been having a ton of fun with. Um, it has the Jir It's built around the Jirachi engine of the Stellar Wish. We don't play Tapu Lele, we don't play Ninetales, it's just four Jirachi with three Escape Board. And actually, one of the reasons it works so well with Solgaleo is because at any point in the game, if we have a Jirachi on our bench, maybe we can harder treat it with an Energy, maybe it has an Escape Board, maybe we use Guzma alongside it, uh, we can Ultra Road into a Jirachi and then find some way to get at it, the Jirachi out of our active. Well, I guess we can't hard retreat it because it goes to sleep. So it either has to be Guzmar or a Skateboard. I misspoke there. Sometimes we double Ultra Road even. Um, see, I've actually been having a ton of fun with this deck. It's just been a lot of fun. Uh, with a lot of these decks that I'm going to be showcasing to you guys um, in the next couple days, um, a lot of them are going to be a lot of fun. Um, some of them will be a little bit seemingly better competitively than not. Uh, you know, this one in the Coco deck, I'm unsure of their competitive ability. Um, all I know is that uh, I've been doing decent with them on the PTCGO ladder, and they've been fun to play. So that's why I'm going ahead and bringing them to you guys. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some games. All right, going first in this first game here, we got the Cosmog. We actually are holding Rare Candy, so Galio in hand. Um, so we might just nest ball for another Cosmog. Uh, it depends on what they're playing. If we think they can knock out this Cosmog, then we might go for a Cynthia to try and find a little bit extra. But our hand is pretty good. Um, I think we're playing against some kind of spread deck, and these Cosmogs do so much work against spread decks. We might not even evolve this one. We might just leave it as this Cosmog. Yeah, we're probably playing against some kind of spread deck as we see this Oracorio here. We'll see. Can't ever really know for sure. Find out shortly. Uh, but this Oracorio tells me we're probably playing against some kind of spread deck. There's a Kikui, there's an Acrobite, so there's a Shrine. So my suspicions are uh, further confirmed here with those two cards. Uh, they need another basic Pokemon out though, as of right now, otherwise we're just going to win the game. Alright, there's the Nest Ball. If I had to guess, it's probably grabbing a Tapu Koko. There it is, there's the Tapu Koko. Alright, so it is a Tapu Koko spread deck. Uh, it means they're also playing basic lightnings because they got Oracorio in here. So that means they probably run Zapdos as well. Um, so something to look out for there. Shouldn't be a huge deal for us. All right, so we got the rare candy. So Galio, I don't even think I'm going to evolve this Cosmolum. I'm just going to leave it as the small guy. Um, and then play the Cynthia. Not even going to Ultra Ball either. Just a rare candy. And uh, attack. Not being threatened here. If we can find what's it called, it would be great. We can find the um, Delmize, that would be great, because that does allow us to one shot Tapu Cocos. But if not, that would be fine. They're only can be hitting us for 20 damage. Uh, they do play Kakui. If they're playing like a basic lightning build with what I would assume is a Zapdos, they're probably playing Electro Power and maybe even Electro Charger. Um, so we have to look out for that. They can hit us pretty hard, that means, then. Um, yep, there are the Electro Powers coming down. So we're going to have to actually use our Max Potions a little bit more aggressively because of the threat of the uh, the Electro uh, electro Charger from our opponent here. Um, yeah, they're setting up pretty decently still. Um, despite, yep, there's another one. So we're probably going to have to use a Max Potion here. I'm going to go ahead and count the damage. And the Electro Charger. All right, this list looks kind of familiar here. So yeah, a top deck of what's it called super nice. We're probably gonna go, well, actually, we don't have that much damage on us. If we do 150 next time, I think we just go ahead and take out their Orangaroo here. Yeah, we can't draw cards out of our hand right now anyways. Well, we could have if we had gone right candy the other guy. But I'm fine with just going like this, knocking this out using the, uh, Max Potion on our next turn. They have to hit 150 damage. It seems a little tough to me. I mean, we'll see if they can pull it off. I don't think they can pull it off. Um, it would be very unfortunate if they now pull it off. I guess they don't need 150, they need 130. So that's like triple Electro Power, uh, Quad Electro Power, Triple Electro Power, Kikui. Uh, I mean, it's definitely possible. It's just a lot. Quad, yeah, Quad Electro Power would do it. Uh, double Electro Power. Choice band wouldn't be quite enough. Well, there's one. That's a start. 
No follow up though. All right, we're gonna get pretty good value out of this max potion here. I think we also probably should retreat. Um, because uh, we can't attack with this one for sure. Uh, if we max potion, but we can attack with this one for sure. I think we should abuse the fact that we know that max potion and then we're gonna go ahead and hit him with the cynthia yeah i think this matchup is pretty good despite the electro power build the electro power build is definitely tougher to beat um but not impossible here's a nest ball oh no delmize's prize all right well we can grab a cosmog anyways because it's protected while it's on the bench we can still thin out our deck by that all right so we are two shotting kafu cocos that is not good that is definitely that's definitely going to make this matchup a lot closer. All right, we're in for a matchup now, definitely. We're definitely in for a matchup now. So prominence, uh, all right, it heals all of us. I wasn't sure if it healed the active or not. I would have been surprised if it said, uh, accept the active Pokemon. But it does heal everything. So we have that as a backup attack, should it come to it, the prominence GX. Um, they unfortunately now can spread to our Solgaleo and our Solgaleo. There's the Oracorio. Uh, which makes perfect sense to use here if he's got a lightning energy because it'll do 30 and 30 as opposed to 20 and 20 So it's just a better attack on this turn while well, he sets up more with the lily And the acro bike. Yeah, so even if you find electro powers and stuff, it still makes more sense to attack with Oracorio here than um, than the The Coco do that little bit of extra damage on the bench to Solgaleo makes sense to me. We'll see if he goes with it Another nest ball. Yep, there's the Zapdos. Yep, this list looks this list looks really uh really similar to a deck I've played around with before. Alright. Two punches here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and deal with this. We don't need to dig any deeper with Acrobike or Jirachi, I feel like. Um, we're just gonna chill. We know what's going on this turn. It's just the turbo strike. Hoping to pull the Delmise off the prizes. The Delmise is a big pull here if we can get it off the prizes here. Nope, no Delmise, so we're still two-shotting. Um, I guess he should probably be taking advantage of that while he can. Well, I was knocking out that Coco no matter what. Um, so, But that means I could pull the or the Delmise off my prizes. I guess he doesn't know I play Delmise, but I would assume that my opponent played Delmise if they're playing Solgaleo. So if I was my opponent, I think I definitely would have gone with uh, retreat to this Coco and attack with the, the fresh one, make me try and two-shot this one, being like, okay... Either he doesn't play Dumb Eyes, so I'm going to make him two-shot both of them. Or he does not it's prize, and then if he pulls off the prize on this one, that means he can one-shot this Coco. And if you're going to let me one-shot this Coco, you should just attack with Oracorio to get maybe more more attacks off of the Oracorio. Because Oracorio is just doing more damage right now than, than Coco is. So, not a huge fan of that play from our opponent. Could candy out the Ultra Road, but I think we're just going to chill. I'm going to go ahead and attach this just in case they play a, sorry, a Judge or something like that. Turbo Strike, and I think on this next turn, we're going to be bringing out the prominent Prominence uh, GX attack. Try and heal heal these two up, not try. The left thing will get healed. Uh, we have one max potion left that we'll be able to use a heal heal up another Soul Galaxy. This is what I would like to have seen last turn from our opponent. Just switching it back and forth in between the Cocos, hitting them up. Um... So we'd go up to like 130. They have all they have two electro powers left. Maybe they would still whiff. Should I should I act like my opponent would whiff here? Huh. No, I think we're gonna go ahead and prominent GX on this turn. Heal off that damage. Um live for a couple more turns. And then we'll probably go for like a retreat into this Solgaleo and then put the two metal on the Cosmog. I mean, yeah, I guess we're still two we're just gonna two shot everything if we aren't out anyways. Um, I still might do that. How many DC do we have left? We have two DC left, so I kind of like the idea of setting up a third Solgaleo, because both of these should be able to ke catch DCEs at some point. So I think I am going to do that. We'll Ultra Ball away the Solgaleo on the Jirachi. Yeah, so there's the hit again. Nothing too big. Yeah, they're kind of just actually running out of cards as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with the Retreat. The DCE to this one. I'm gonna Ultra Ball away these two. I'm gonna grab nothing. Uh, I'm gonna Acro Bike. And grab that Max Potion. Definitely grab that Max Potion. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll Lily for two. I think that's fine. Another Acro Bike. We're not gonna dig it. We're only the reason. Only reason we used the last Acro Bike is because we were looking, looking to draw that extra card with Lily. All right, these two are going to go to the Cosmog. And now back over to our opponent. 
Uh, they do have a couple things set up, but I think we are going to be able to close this one out before our opponent um, here. They're going to go ahead and punch us with probably the Oracorio finally at this point. I would be surprised if they didn't punch us with the Oracorio. They've used zero stretcher. Oh, they've used two stretcher. Never mind. I didn't see the stretcher come down, but I guess no, they, they have used them both on two Cocos, haven't they? There's a Cynthia. They still have, let's see, if they're playing Electro Chargers, they're probably maxed out on those. They still have quite a bit of damage left to come out of the Electro Chargers plus Electro Powers. I don't think it's quite enough. I think uh, the Solgaleo deck is a little bit too big on healing plus HP for the Coco deck to actually keep up with the damage, despite uh, most likely for Electro Power. Uh, for Electro Charger, I don't think they play quite enough damage as long as we find all of our healing, which we have so far. Um, I think we will end up taking this one pretty handedly here. Uh, I'm an Acrobike here. I want to look for, there we go, yeah, some other options for um, energy potentially this turn. Quite a bit of energy in the deck. I'm gonna go with candy so galio here before i play this cynthia i'm gonna max potion this benched one of the 110 damage and then play the cynthia we're looking to just draw three prizes in three turns here all right i'm gonna throw this down here i'm gonna bench this because it doesn't matter um and then i'll turbo strike for the knockout a hold on to the next one i should have attached the choice band that was definitely a mistake the choice band definitely should have come down charge up this guy fully here and i think we're set up to take our three prizes in a row here delmai is still prized he's in there just doesn't want to come out and play i guess um our opponent still has two tapu coco left i assume they're playing four uh, they can attack with tapu coco this turn if they do we got the one shot with the sun steel strike um they got this tapu coco getting set up this guy's almost ready to go we're about to get that mock bolt so our opponent might be able to draw one prize card here. I don't think they're drawing more than that. Oh, actually, this guy's probably going to draw a prize card this turn. All right, so they maybe draw four prize cards. This guy needs a lot of damage uh, to back himself up, though. He's going to need quite a few Electro Powers. But we could see uh, Zapdos come up. Going to knock out our Solgaleo, I think. I don't even think he needs that Electro Power, does he? Oh, no, he does. Oh, 110, 130. Yeah, he does need the Electro Power. And then we could see this guy come up with the Mach Bolt and take another knockout on a Solgaleo. Uh, yeah, no resistance to metal. So this guy's coming up. We're gonna utilize him while we can. All right. Let's see. Um, this is gonna come down. I'm actually fine with grabbing a Jirachi here now. Um, it's not gonna get spread it on. Um, I probably could have grabbed it last turn. It probably wasn't gonna get spread it on last turn. Um, I'm gonna put this metal energy here. Uh, I'm gonna hold these two, and then we're just gonna Turbo Strike. We could Guzma knock this out with this guy. No, I think we're gonna go with the Turbo Strike here. Save this guy to close out the game with the Sun Steel Strike, um, as it will be able to KO no matter anything, no matter what our opponent brings out. There's the Delmise. There you are. A little late, but like I said, I think the matchup is so good, it doesn't really matter that we don't have the Delmise early. We're still winning this one, um, and I think we still consistently win this matchup, not just this game in particular. Yeah, the matchup is just definitely favored. It's just a matter of time. Um, I guess we could have hit like uh, a little bit bigger of a brick in the mid game. Um, and maybe not found our second max potion that would have been a little bit annoying that would have definitely made the game a lot closer if we had found our second max potion um so because we don't actually play that much either. maybe this is matchup is a little bit closer than um i'm giving it credit for because we kind of found both of our max potions super conveniently at really like reasonable times giving or giving us enough time to kind of set up a play around them but if we had been a little bit slow on drawing either max potion i think we definitely could have had a uh, lot closer of a game here actually okay here's the mock bolt at least one electro power. Oh, there's an instruct. So only doing what 150 here. Yeah, not quite enough. They got as close as they could though, and we're gonna be able to take this one with a sun steel strike to close it out. Um, so yeah, I mean, if we played a couple more max potion, it would definitely be quite a bit in our favor. For the amount of max potions we played and the how timely we drew them. The game's going to be pretty easy, I guess, but we definitely could have drawn them a little bit less timely and we would have been in a little bit more trouble. Either way, we do end up taking this one uh, pretty handedly in the end. All right, get into uh, another one here. We got a really good start with the Jirachi. Uh, not as good, not a great stellar wish, though. The options, our hand just really doesn't want us to... Um... I mean, let's grab the Lily, sure, but I think we're going to Cynthia here. We'll put the escape board on and attach a metal. 
because uh, we do want to make have those metals make their way to the discard pile. So that's fine to attach it here on the Jirachi. All right, we drew pretty well though. Uh, let's start with the Acro Bike. We do need a draw supporter. Uh, I guess we're gonna ditch a rare candy here for the Ultra Ball. Uh, we don't need all of our rare candies, I guess. Jeez. All right, and then we're gonna retreat into the other Jirachi. And another Stellar Wish here. Uh, we do need a draw supporter, but Nest Bowl is also pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's go for the... Ooh, I'm kind of torn here. We could find a draw supporter on our next turn, potentially. So I really actually want to use this Nest Ball to grab another Cosmog. That might be a little greedy, though. Uh, let's get a little greedy. I'm down with it. Nest Ball. Cosmog. And pass. we don't want to use we don't want to burn another rare candy. So we're hoping our top deck is like comfortably ultra ball away, ultra ballable away. Um, if not, I guess we could sell our wish to find something that we can ultra ball away. Um, we need to set up the Turbo Strike Cosmog first, or so Galio first, and then transition into the Sun Steel Strike. Playing against a lightning deck, I see the Tapu Koko. It could be a full-on Tapu Koko deck, but I think it is way more likely we are playing against a lightning box. If I don't know, is that what you want to call it? He's probably got Pikachu Zekrom, probably got the Cynthia, or not the Cynthia, the Tapu Koko, uh, the Tapu Koko Prism. Yeah, there's the Pikachu Zekrom, there's the Jirachi. Yeah, so it's definitely some kind of box deck. All right, Jirachi wakes up. That's pretty cool. Top deck, Nest Ball. Um, we should definitely thin out the deck before we Stellar Wish here. Turbo Strike is the first one we want to set up. All of our Cosmogs. Oh, we prized one Cosmog, actually. But we have the Stretcher. We have three Rare Candy. All right. I was hoping I was hoping if we sat, found that other Rare Candy there, seen this many Rare Candy this frequently, that we have uh, another Rare Candy in our deck. All right, Stellar Wish here. The Cynthia is what we're looking for. Go to sleep, Jirachi. And Cynthia. Rare candy, what's it called, would be great here, but I'm not gonna hold out for it. Oh, I thought we were gonna get close to it. Alright. Uh, another Cosmog comes down. Another Jirachi comes down. And then I will attach to. We have all our DC left, so I think I'm gonna attach to this Cosmog here. Makes sense to me. Could attach to this Jirachi instead. Huh, I actually don't know what's the best thing to attach to here. If the Jirachi wakes up, it would be very nice to be able to retreat it. Let's go with Jirachi, actually. There's the heads. It is awake. Having the option to retreat it sounds pretty good to me. Um, so we do play choice bands, so we can actually one-shot Pikachu Zekrom. So we're going to look to start with Turbo Striking. Um, maybe I should just attach it. Maybe these light these metals won't really find their way into the discard pile like I want them to. This one definitely won't. Uh, well, this one still potentially might if they play, um... Oh, wow. That's a pretty good draw there. Maybe he also got the stadium as well. Um, if they do play, what's it called? Uh, Absol. This will definitely make its way into the discard pile. So there's the E-switch. So they either have another E-Switch or a way to discard lightning plus E-Switch in hand, or they have their Thunder Mountain. We actually don't play any stadiums of our own. Um, so we have no way to bump this, unfortunately. So that's going to be a little tough to deal with. They're setting up pretty well. Um, we'll be fine. We just need to get out another Solgaleo. They also can't KO our Solgaleos off the bench with the Tag Bolt GX. Um, they can one-shot our Solgaleos, which will be pretty annoying, but um, they... Probably won't be able to one-shot it with the first attack. They would need a lot of damage uh, modifiers. So the max potions will come in super handy. I'm gonna go ahead and bench this other Jirachi Lily for that extra card here. Mm -mm, nothing good, nothing good. Uh, Stellar Wish, that's a rare candy. Not bad, not what we're looking for though. All right, we're gonna go ahead and punch this guy. With the turbo strike if we can get choice band and delmize in play we actually get to ko that um, i don't think we're gonna be able to do that though so there's three energy over here on this Zekrom. if they go guzma up a cosmog could be in trouble but we should definitely be able to find a what's it called between a lily and a 
Stellar Wish. Yeah, there's going to be a Guzma KO the Cosmog, I think. Yeah. Goodbye, Cosmog. But yeah, between Stellar Wish plus Lily for a couple, I think we'll definitely be able to kill this. Now we can actually KO this with Choice Band, uh, Choice Band Delmize. That's definitely what we're going to look to do now, is KO this with Choice Band Delmize. So there's the knockout on our Cosmog. Completely fine. I actually think that's completely fine. Choice Band Delmize gets us the knockout here, which is huge if we can get this knockout. Um, all right, so this energy being in play is now a problem because of the Coco. So we kind of want to put no more energy in play, but we don't really have a choice. Um, so Nest Ball first. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Delmize. Just KOing this is actually a huge deal here. Um, going to attach. We don't really have a choice but to put all the energy in play, I feel like. We can put one less, but they probably have Electro Power Plus. Well, let's start. No, we should go this. Let's just Lily for two then. That's fine. Okay, now we can Acrobike. Take the Choice Band. There it is. And then Stellar Wish to follow it up. Take the Max Potion, I think, is going to be the best pull here. Yeah, let's pull the Max Potion. Then we can candy this Solgaleo. So we ha we'll have four energy in play. And then we can Ultra Road to this Jirachi. And this is why I love like how this deck can function like this. It's just really fun. Uh, Stellar Wish again. Uh, definitely grab the Acro Bike. It gives us the most options. So I'm debating if I should just fully set this thing up. Um, I guess I should. Because then we can just Guzma knock this out. We would need our other Choice Band though. That's kind of the problem there. So then this Coco would come up GX attack us. We at the very least could blow up the Coco, but we don't really want to do that. We want to blow up this. I'm a little bit hesitant on putting that extra energy in play. One, two, three, four. So we do 200. So he would need like a Choice Band and Electro Power or Double Electro Power. Definitely could have it. So that's why I kind of just want to set this up no matter what. But then I would also force the... I don't want him to Guzma knock this out. That sounds really bad. So I think I'm just going to make, force him to have the outs here. Um... Yeah, and then if not, then we just uh, Soul Burst GX and hope it's enough from there. Uh, but yeah, Turbo Strike. Gonna get the knockout here. Very conveniently get the knockout here for us. Uh, and steal this energy here. Put that on him. At the very least, we could Soul Burst GX. Start digging for the Choice Band. Hopefully find it before our opponent is able to find another knockout, double knockout on us. I mean, if they use this G GX attack, they can't use this GX attack. Um, which means, like, if they KO this with this guy, they don't really have a way to one-shot this guy. Um, unless they got a ridiculous amount of damage modifiers. Um, they'd have to, like, play enough as well. Um, so I think we would be safe to event, hopefully, win the game before our opponent here. We should be able to dig through the rest of our deck. As long as our second choice band is in our deck. It might not be. Um, I didn't check, so we're just kind of hoping here. We have the Guzma, though. Um, so all we need to do is find the choice band. And get the three energy on this eventually. I think if our opponent whiffs the knockout here, we for sure win the game. Um, they might be digging. Yeah, they're definitely digging for the knockout on this guy this turn, though. With this retreat here. That means they're looking for a Guzma play. There's an Electro Power, so that tells me... I mean, if they have the Guzma, that means it tells me they found the play. They're going to Guzma knock this guy out. So we're out of Cosmogs. So we need to find another Cosmog through our stretcher. Oh, no, that's a Volkner. That's so good for us. That means they don't have access to the Guzma. Well, they don't have access to Guzma this turn. They can still get it next turn. Um, but we have access to Guzma right now, which means... Oh, no, we don't have three energy on this, though. Sorry, I didn't put three energy on this. So not as good as I want it to be. Um, I guess they're still maybe knocking this out if they have Switch. I think we're about to get switched into here. Maybe they forgot they already retreated. They used their supporter. They've already retreated. They just played down double Electro Power. That knocks us out. Okay, there's the Switch. All right. So they got the switch. There's the Thunder GX. They have no way to win on their next turn. Well, they do, but they would need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. Um, so I doubt they're going to be able to win on this turn. So we're going to go. We have like everything we need in hand. So we're just going to go with triple Stellar Wish here, I feel like. Could Ultra Ball away Cynthia and a Skateboard because we have the Ultra Road. Right? Yeah. Ultra Ball of Cynthia and a Skateboard. Take a Pokemon out of our deck. Just grab this guy, I think is fine. Let's take a look. The second choice band is not in our deck. Neither is another Guzma. So we're actually in trouble here. Yeah, we're in big trouble here. Big, big, big trouble. Don't have a great win condition. 
on board. Um, I'm trying to come up with the best way to win the game from here on out. Let's start with Acrobike and then we'll go into Stellar Wishes. Gonna grab the DCE here. Stellar Wish number one. Grab an Ultra Ball. Treat into this one. Stellar Wish number two. There's a stretcher. So that can get us a Cosmog back. Into. Uh, I already retreated, so now we have to decide what we're doing here. So we definitely need to get a Cosmog back and hope they don't have a Guzma on their turn to KO it. We're going to bring our discard pile into your hand. Gonna take a Cosmog. I'm just trying to come up with the best way to win from here. It's still. I'm still. It's still tough. Cosmog comes down. I think I do GX attack here and set up this Cosmog. I don't think we can afford to Turbo Strike anymore. We have to do big hit, big hit. So it has to be Ultra Road into this guy and then Soul Burst set up this guy. Um, I don't want to attach to him yet. So it is just going to be the Soul Burst. One, two, three. All onto the Cosmog. And we're hoping our opponent doesn't have a Guzma here. Yeah, this one was rough. If we had the second choice banned, I mean, I, I think out of three stellar guys, three stellar wishes, we probably would have found it. Um, but yeah, sometimes your second choice ban is prize. There's the Guzma on our Cosmog. No, I maybe should have attached here as like a, a deterrent to that. They have the Guzma, and I don't think now I don't think there's any possible way for us to win the game. I'm trying to come up with something, but I think this one is going to be a little downhill from here. Um, yeah, we didn't set up super well early on. They were able to keep KO in our Cosmog. We prized the Cosmog as well. Um, let's just go ahead and draw one last prize card if possible here. A couple stellar wishes. Retreat to this guy. Hit him with another stellar wish. Ultra Road out the Solgaleo. And it's going to have to be a pass from there. I don't think we can be one shot. Well, it's actually possible, right? They could hit two more Electro Powers on a Choice Band, but they just have the back-to-back -back Guzmas, and we're going to lose our last Jirachi here. Yeah, so our setup wasn't quite as good as our opponents early on, I don't think. Like I said, prize the Cosmog. They're able to chase, chase Cosmogs early. The big thing that we ended up prizing here was the second Choice Band. I think if we didn't prize that, we would have just won. Um, I think we would have definitely been able to find the choice man over two turns. So we kept it close, but we don't walk away with the win in this one in the end. Um, but that's going to be me showcasing the Solgaleo Jirachi deck. Uh, I've been having a ton of fun with just kind of a lot of Jirachis. I'm definitely going to try out that engine in a couple other decks. See if I can't get it to uh, work in those as well. Maybe Guardi, something like that. But yeah, the Jirachi engine has been super fun to play with using uh, Stellar Wish multiple times a turn is super good. It's actually, I mean, it's way better in this deck than most decks because of the Ultra Road. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Links to my Twitch live stream as well as my social media links in the description below. Have a good day and thanks for watching and peace.